Here it is, Apocalypse, the end of the invasion block. And this is another doozy of a set. It's gonna focus on the enemy colors, so like blue, green, white, black, those colors. And there's a lot of support for them and a lot of support for specifically our strategy as well, so I'm excited. To start off with, this set brings back the Painland. So we have all the enemy colors. You have Battlefield Forge, Land of War Wastes, Yavi Maya Coast, Shivan Reef, and the other one. And we want to pull these because of course they're the best mana fixing we have access to right now. Just great dual land. Sure they do a little bit of damage to you, but whatever. It's not like they'll kill us, right? Caves of Coilos, that was the one I was thinking of. So the first card I really want to get into is Consume Strength. So it's a three mana instant, and it is the best combat trick that we have access to because it gives a creature we own plus two plus two, and a creature our opponents own minus two minus two. So either we can use it to win favorably in combat, or we can do a little extra damage and pop a mana dork, because there's a lot of really good mana dorks in this set. And right below we have Chromat. It's a very funny card if you were to go Wooburg. We're not going Wooburg, but if we did, it's a 5 mana 5-5 five, five legendary, and it gets effects for every 2 mana color pair. So if you do Orzhov, you destroy target blocking creature. If you do Is it, it gains flying. If you do Bulgari, you regenerate it. If you do Boros, it gets plus 1 plus 1 until end turn. And if you do Simic, uh, you put it on top of your Sonar's library for whatever reason you'd want to. Death Grasp right here is also a win condition for black-white. So you put any amount of mana into it, deals to any ish that target, and you gain that much life. So it's like a better fireball, you just gotta spend 2 colored pips on it instead of 1. But once you get into the light game, this will just like kill your opponent or put you in a position where they just cannot kill you before you kill them. Pretty good pickup if we're able to get it. Proven Charge for Mardu pumps all your attacking creatures by two. Great way to win the game and just win favorably every single combat. Again, it's a rare though, and I don't know if we're gonna build Mardu just because I think our white pool is a little lacking. Fire and Ice though, very strong uh, split card to the fire side. Two damage for two mana at instant speed, and it goes to any number of targets. And then for the uh, Ice side, uh, you can tap a permanent and then draw a card. And note that it says permanent for two mana, so you can tap a land, making your opponent's mana weird, or you can tap like a problematic artifact of some kind and then you can draw a card so it's something to think about. Gerard Verdict is like an almost as good into Turok. So it's black white so you need a second color but you gain life for every time they discard a land so if you're putting them in a position where that they're forced to get, get rid of lands you're gaining life and you're always getting advantage off of it. If you only get a couple of these I really would recommend going into black and white. Goblin Legionnaire is an insane payoff for the goblin deck and the soldier deck because he's a goblin soldier. So you can pay red sacrifice him uh, deal two damage to any target. If you pay white and sacrifice him you prevent the next two damage that would be done to you to any target. You're gonna mostly use the red side of that, but just having a 2-2 creature that you can sacrifice in combat or anytime you want to do 2 damage to anything is gonna be very strong. Life and Death is also a pretty, pretty strong card here. So the green side for one mana makes all the lands you control 1-1 one, one creatures until in turn they're still lands. This gives you a way to just overrun your opponent if you need to. And the death side is a 2 mana return target creature from your graveyard to play, and then you lose life equal to its CMC. So this is really good for any reanimator strategy trying to break back any huge thing or just getting back your best creature. Like, let's say we reanimate a uh, Flame Tongue Kavu. Hey, it comes in, burn something for four, woohoo! And right below this, we have Lightning Angel. It's basically a Jeskai Sarah Angel for less mana, but more colored pips. It's got Flying Vigilance and Haste. Uh, if you get a couple of these, I can see a Jeskai or even a Black, White, Splash, Blue aggro deck being very strong. Because it's a 3 4 too, so it's not bad at all. Pernicious Deed is one of the cards I most want to pull out of this set because it's basically just putting a gun on the table. So it's an enchantment for three mana that reads Pay X. Sacrifice Pernicious Street, destroy each artifact, feature, and, and enchantment with mana value X or less. So it's just sitting there as a board wipe that you can activate whenever you want to. Your opponent knows it's there, so you're gonna get into their head and make them think, oh, I don't want to play these little creatures because they're just gonna die. And you can just play your high mana value creatures knowing that you're not going to pay that much mana. It's such a great card. And right off the bat on the second page of Phyrexian Arena, it's an amazing draw card. So it's a three mana champion beginning the upkeep. You can draw a card, lose a life. You can play on turn one if you happen to get a Dark Rite in your hand. Only for one life, extra card. Who wouldn't want this? Speaking of drawing Phyrexians, sure we got Phyrexian Gargantua, but that's six mana. We want the three mana Phyrexian Rager and stuff. It'll lose a life draw card. Just a very good card. Its rate is bad, but the draw is so much more powerful, and you just have them up as a blocker. And right down here is the other card I really want, Spiritmonger, because I plan on going into Jund. So it's a five mana six six. Insane rate for this time period of magic. Whenever it deals damage to a creature, put a plus one plus one counter on it. Chances are you'll be dealing damage to creatures because your opponent does not want to take damage. From this thing. You can pay one black to regenerate it, so it's always coming back. You can pay a green to make it a color of your choice on the turn, so if they have any like black hate cards, you just make it white. There you go. We have Urborg Elf. Now, Urborg Elf is basically 
a noble hierarch for uh, Sultai colors, except it's two mana. I'm gonna assume that Thomas would be running this because he has that like Feldegriff. It wouldn't be a bad run in any deck that's running at least two of these colors, especially if you want to go more mid rangey. I'd definitely pick it. If I was in all three, I'm not sure. We'll think about it. But one thing we won't think about is Vindicate. If we are in black-white, Vindicate is the premier removal spell. It's that rare, unfortunately, for being a worse Terminate. We destroy any permanent, not just creature, permanent. Problematic lands, problematic artifacts, it's gone. We want a couple of those. Probably won't get them, but we want a couple of them. It also has insane art. And down at the bottom, we have the last pain land of the Yabimaya Coast. I'm super excited to get into the polls this week. This set's really powerful. It's really going to upgrade our deck specifically because we are good at deck building. All right, let's see what we can get. All right, 36 packs of Apocalypse. Let's see what we can get here. All right, right off the bat, Squeeze Embrace is not bad at all. There could be an Enchantress deck and like Naya Colors. The uh, Penumbra Kabu might not be terrible either. I'm not huge on the uh, Ogron Estate though. Ooh, Spirit Monger is incredible. It's gonna go right into our decks. I think I want to move into Jund. So whenever still deals damage to a creature, put a plus one plus one counter on it, makes it bigger. It's a six six for five, and then you can pay black and regenerate it, or play green and make it a color of any choice to dodge those like color hate spells. Very very good. We're playing this guy for sure. Ooh, Lightning Angel. Ooh, Phyrexian Arena card draw in black. Ooh, Caves of Quelos. Nice, nice pain land. I don't know if we're going to be in those colors, though, because my White Pool's not fantastic this season. Ooh, Pernicious Deed. So you sacrifice and destroy, extra, you destroy each artifact, creature, and enchantment with converted mana cost extra less. This, I think, is going to put us into the uh, green-black variant of mid three-color mid-range, I think. Just to make sure that we have the uh, lands for it. Battlefield Forge, another pain land, not bad. I could go Mardu for something, but I just don't know what I'd go Mardu in for. We got a dog or a cat. It's got protection from green. Eh. Yabby Mike, we're just getting all the pain lands. Another Phyrexian Arena, too. Spicy. Ooh, another spirit monger too. That's kind of crazy. Ooh, that's kind of crazy. I think I have to go into green, black, red. Ooh, hey, we got Gerard. He's not great, but he's Gerard. Fungal Shambler. I think this is the second Fungal Shambler. May not. I don't know. He's cool, though. A uh, foil fungal shambler. Another lightning angel. Definitely need more of those. Another lightning angel. Just dupe after dupe. Uh, that guy, I think we just got him pretty recently, too. And that's it. I didn't think it would be possible to get more base than we were last week, but somehow we did it. This is my Jund mid-range deck. Holy crap. I think this is insane. So of course we got our land suite of a couple basics, we got two of the Caldera, and we got the Moraine which makes a uh, search our library for a basic land put into play tapped, and a couple of volcanoes. What's really great is our main deck. So we got four bog downs, kicker sack, two land, target player discards two cards from his hand, I pay the kicker cost, that player discards three cards instead, great discard spell. We got the one pernicious deed, so we get to put the gun on the table, say hey, don't try anything. Double shock, because it's shock. And snuff out, I control swamp, I pay for life instead of paying his mana cost, destroy target non-black creature. As long as my opponents aren't playing black, this is the best removal spell we have access to. For our creatures, we're playing the one avatar of, whoa. I anticipate a lot of creatures dying because of my kill spells, we have a lot of the discard with bog down and ravenous rat, so my opponent might be discarding creatures too, so Getting 10 creatures into all graveyards seems like a pretty easy task to do. Then we got my boy, the Four Flame Tongue Kabu. MVP of last episode, he'll be the MVP of this episode. Big fan. We got his new buddy, the Horn Kabu. So he's a 2 mana 3 4. Uh, when he comes into play, return target red or green creature to our opponent's hand. Goes well with the three Lanowar Elves. So we go Lanowar Elf, turn 1, turn 2, we play a mountain, use the mountain and the green to tap 
Land of War Elves to play Kavu. Return Land of War Elves to our hand. Use the Force to play back Land of War Elves. Didn't lose any of our creatures, and we got a 3-4 on board. Four Phyrexian Ragers. Draws the card when it enters. Uh, it's a 3-mana 2-2. Two, two. Our opponents are playing slower decks, probably, so like he'll probably get in for some damage. He'll block pretty good. The two Phyrexian Scuda. Again, glad I have this. A 4-mana 5-5 five, five for a kicker for 3. Great to have. We have the four rats, two mana, one one, enters the battlefield, opponent discards a card. Good way to just control their hands. Our next Kabu buddy that we've added is the Spark Caster. So it's got the exact same effect as the Horn Kabu, but it's a five, three for four instead of a three, four for two. Huge attack stat. It's gonna be hard for them to block favorably against this thing. And then whenever it comes into play, it deals one damage to our opponent too. So at the very least, it's like a bad, a really bad Siege Rhino. And then the crown jewel of this deck, the two Spirit Mongers two. This guys are, they can't beat this. Like most of the removal targets non-black stuff. There's very few things that target solely black and they'd have to be in like exactly white to go for that. So I'm excited. Like what are they going to do against me? So let's get into Tom and Sam's match, see what they're playing and then kick their ass. All right, boys, are you ready for the set to be apocalyptic? <laughs> <laughs> No. The only thing that's going to be apocalyptic about this is my performance. Uh, you did great last week. Remember your hippo? Yeah, your hippo was so cool. But that week, that week is is gone. That's in the past. Oh, yeah. This week is you now. You ran Feldegriff last week, didn't you? I did. He did. It would be a shame if I did it again. Oh. Well, I've got a very great surprise for whoever I'm playing against that I'm going to save for whenever I play against I'm tempted them. to just give this one to Sam. I don't want to deal with any bullshit this week. In before <laughs> Nick, is, <laughs> Nick walks in with some stacks. I'm gonna beat you senseless. I'm gonna play beat you senseless, Sam, and then I'm gonna concede. <laughs> okay, <laughs> just Good to luck spare to myself. <laughs> That's the plan. I think All right. I'm gonna roll a seventeen. Seventeen. What? Okay. okay. Or you could just roll a. F Whoa! What? Now I rolled a seventeen. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, it's well. kind of foresight, but not quite. With that nat twenty, I'm gonna take the play. You ready All to go? Set. I am. Yeah. Super ready. Let's so get ready. This party started. So so ready. Forest in the Chrome Sphere and go. Chrome Dome. Okay, Doki. Oh, I gotta draw. I'm doing stuff out of order already. I just started. You bumbling boob. I'm gonna swamp into Necro Disciple. And mm. I will pass. Failed Interesting. The, failed the one out of five already. I yeah, I, I'm not gonna lie. Well, I guess I could, but I don't really have any cards for the whole like super color. Into thing. Herberg Elf and pass. Ooh. Okie dokie. Draw for turn. That's oh, very, I'm glad you're playing that card, That's Tom. very nice. I'm gonna forest into Elfman. Oh, Herberg Elf. It's the unstoppable force versus the immovable object. Yeah, okay. That's what this is gonna look like, and I will pass to you. Interesting draws. I'll say. Play an island for turn, and I'll pass. Very well. Keep this mana open. Draw for turn, bring in the planes. Oh, it's triple color, eh? Actually, that's quadruple color if it it's is, the Herberg it Elf. Is. If he's playing all the colors of the Herberg. So. Herberg Elf? Herberg. 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 Well, we know he is because he's got the Necro Disciple up. I'm going to tap yeah. two in Herberg to bring in Phyrexian Arena. Beginning of your upkeep, you draw time. a card and lose a life. Nice. And I will pass. Card advantage go brrrr. I'll draw. <laughs> okay. Love you too, game. Play a oh, force. Oh, 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 it's magic. You know. You know. Pass. Never believe it's, believe it's not so. so. Alright. <laughs> Sam's doing nothing. I'm gonna untap, draw for turn. Sam Draw an additional because of my Phyrexian Arena. Oh man. Am I going to be able to ramp hard enough? I'm going to tap my Elf for blue. I'm going to tap these three to bring in a Questing Feldegriff. Okay. And then I can't do any of these things on it yet, right? No, you can. You need mana for that. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, you need mana. Man, oh man, I have no mana. Mana, oh mana. Oh well. I'll pass. Okay. In response to your end step, I'm going to tap a forest and tap my chrome sphere to add a black and draw a card. And I'm going to use that black to cast Vendetta, targeting your Feldegriff. 
That makes me sad. I'm sad. Man, and I lose four life for that. Why God do me like that? I just brought him out. Okay. And then my upkeep. Draw. Okay. I am going to play a... A uh, fuck it. A fuck it. Yes, my favorite magic card. Fuck it, we ball. Fuck it, we ball. Fuck it, we ball. Fuck it, we ball. And... He'll ball. never be balling. <laughs> He's never gonna ball. Tap. Draw for turn. Take a life. Draw for turn again. I don't like that I card think. advantage, but I do not have I enchantment. Do. Replay Replay this. And tap two to bring out Quirian Elves. Okay. Queer Elves. Queer Elves. And I am gonna give... doesn't really matter what I give it. I'm gonna give it black. What are you giving? Because you can add one mana of any chosen color. Oh, wait, I don't have to give it oh. to him. I can just do whatever I feel like. Okay. Yeah. You gotta name the color now, though. Yeah. So oh, color so I can't it? choose it. I can't choose it when I tap it. Nope. You. Okay. Oh yeah. yeah so I, I didn't read the top part. I'm sorry. It's been a yeah, long you, day. You used the card last. <laughs> yeah, time. Yeah, I know. I should remember how this works, but I don't. Oh. Come on. Name name red. Be the be the all colors. Be an Uber deck. B. Uh, B Uber. Not B. Not that B. from black or blue. B L. A uh, B is black. Bla B L A C K. Do you for think black. Tom does that? Do you think Tom <laughs> is like, oh yeah, I'm gonna use U for blue? No, he won't. I mean, he might. I'm gonna tap to bring in a Necro Disciple. Oh my God, we need Hut General over here. I'm gonna pay three and tap my Necro Disciple to bring in another Necro Disciple. <laughs> ah! These are the oh, big brain hilarious. strategies I'm hitting you with today. <laughs> okay. Playing the weenie deck. Hell weenie yeah. hut general it weenie is. Weenie hut generals, yes. And uh, I will pass. That's it for me. Okay. I'm on a ticking clock here. Untap. Draw. You still have more life than Sam. Though. Yeah, that's what I'm okay with. I am going to pay two for an avatar of might. Ah, oh, I should have known this was going to happen. Yep. Fuck. Fuck! Poopy! Um, Fuck! Gosh diggity dang it. Shoot! So if I tap two, that stinks. That leaves me one short <laughs> that. But I'm not going to need that this turn. This ruffles so my let's gammies. So Erberg Elf. Erberg. 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 Alright. On your end step, I do nothing and start my Wait, turn. Did I play... Yeah, I played a land. No. Nope. Did I play yeah. a land that turn? Draw for turn. Did you? Take um, away. If you did not play a land that okay. turn. Okay. You did not. Okay. Sorry. Doesn't matter. Okay. I'm gonna play a planes for land this turn. Ooh. Tap two to play pacifism on your avatar of might. Nice. Do -do 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 -do. That's the most pacifist. Do -do 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 -do. That's the most pacified avatar I've ever seen. Is pacifism technically sissy hypno? Yes. Sussy hypno. Yeah. Sussy hypno. Ooh, easy. The Among Us now. I don't know, it would be like Sussy Hypno if you like had the Avatar deal its damage to me, you know? Like, this is definitely mm. Sussy Hypno. There's a distinction. Ooh, ooh, I'm just a small widow Avatar of my... Oh, I don't know if I can swing or block anymore. I'm uh, just an 8-8. Eight eight. Um, oh, I'm just a little 8-8 eight eight with no protection. I'm just a widow guy. I couldn't hurt anyone. Ooh. To but he's still some delicious sack fodder. I'm going to swing my Necro Disciple at you. If, if only you I had a fling. I think it's funny. Okay. I take the one. Okay. And I will pass. On tap. If draw. only you had a fling. Cast a forest. Pay one for a Chrome Sphere. Oh, there it is. And then pass. Chrome Dome. I will untap. I will draw for turn. This is where I was worried. Um, I guess Get I really have for your nothing Phyrexian. to worry about, though, because I will draw another card. Yeah, mm -hmm. you have so much card advantage, you shouldn't be afraid. <laughs> swam. So, are you guys, like, only playing creatures with power one or less? No, but goodness me, what not Okay, be does Avatar Might look like it has power one or less? Uh, Avatar Might has bigger problems to worry about. Oh, yeah, he's Forest pacified. To bring in Alanimor elves. Oh my god, are you seriously just playing Weenie Hut? Yep. <laughs> Weenie Hut This general. is like the worst elf ball I've ever seen. <laughs> But wait, it gets worse. It does. Okay. I can't tap this. No, I can't tap him because he has summon sickness. You, you can't tap him, but you have more than enough dorks. You dude. have multiple right. things you can tap. Yeah, I, I don't do. think you're worried for mana right now. 
What can't he tap right now? I'm going to tap this guy. The Land of War Elves. And then I'm going to tap the uh, this guy as well to bring in this query on Elves. Oh Man, it'd really be a shame if I had an Elvish champion in my hand. Yeah, um, where's the Crater Hoof? I don't know. <laughs> Fine. That hasn't been printed yet, sadly. <laughs> Alright, move to oh, combat. Man, I can't wait for Crater Hoof to exist. I'm going to swing. Guess what? Two Necro Disciples at you this turn. Ayo? Ayo. On God? Okay. On For real? Just like I'm that? Back. So I just I'm keep going to life lead. That's all. Assign blocks. Okay. This Urberg Elf will block a Necro Disciple. <laughs> okay. Urberg. And then Urberg. in response to damage, I am going to pay one to sack Chrome Sphere, making a black. Draw a card from it. And then I'm going to use black, green, colorless to consume strength, giving my Urberg plus two plus two, and minus twoing the other attacking Necro. Okay. So both your Necros die. In response to that, I'm going to consume strength. On my you also brought consume strength. Your Urberg, so the he is now force back to a 1-1, one, 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 and I'm okay. swinging at you with a 1-1 one, one and a or wait, you uh, killed the other one, right? Oh god, how does this uh, work? So, well, no, wait, no, I played it on your elf, so you take survive. four damage. Yeah. Uh, okay. Tom, you do your consume strength, so which one are you yep. plusing, which one are you minusing? I'm plusing the one that, that you're not blocking, and I'm playing the minus okay. two, minus two on your Urborg. Okay, so he that dies. means so you're... my Urborg dies. So, yes. Um, does that mean my consume one strength One of your Necros fizzles? dies. Why does one of my Necros die? I don't know what happened. Listen, alright, so, what happened is... You pumped your necro, right? Oh wait, wait. Yeah. Yes. If we go stack, in reverse of the stack, stack. so Sam would take. Yep. Consume so strength. Sam Tom's consume strength would take goes off. One damage here. Why doesn't he take all the damage? Because this has minus two, minus two on it. The necro disciple. No, I played, but that was right. It has plus two, plus two, oh, and that's, minus two, minus that's two. Yeah. Right, because he can still play it on it. Yeah. Okay. So yep. wait. Even though I, I take pumped one, mine, you one damage. You take two damage, right? One damage, one damage because he did assign blockers still. Even though I killed it. With yeah, I assigned blockers, killed it, but because it was still blocking, mm -hmm. the damage does not. Go okay, through. I don't know how that works. Yeah, you. He's basically fighting a ghost. Okay, that makes sense. Then. So yeah, all that happens is Sam takes one damage. Yeah. Hey, good combat. I will say that was a very funny. God damn it. That was the most confusing combat encounter, and it was a swinging uh, the one ones mm -hmm. at each other. <laughs> Four, five. Uh, damn it. Oh, Six. I didn't realize that was a card. I should be playing that. Mm, yeah, it's best I got. Penumbra oh, one. Let's see it. Oh, fuck. It's a big six, worm. six trampler. When it dies, I create a six, six worm. It's a big worm. Worm. And your go. My go. I shall untap. I shall draw for turn. I shall take a life and draw for turn. I'm going to play a forest. I do so like I'm the really bad at managing the all these different like colors. That's <laughs> okay. You'll get used to it. I'm gonna tap these I'm guys. I'm proud of you for playing a five color deck. The jungle barrier. When he okay. enters the battlefield, I draw a card. Wow. It's just a fat two six. It's a very good card. <laughs> it's a fatty. And guess what? Guess what I'm swinging at you? A Necro Disciple? That's right, motherfucker. Okay. It's gonna be... How many do I want to swing? I guess I'll swing three of them. Okay. I will block a Necro Disciple. Okay. Goodbye, my friend. And I take two. Oh sevens. And I shall pass. Tap. Draw. Disrupting Scepter. And you're gonna discard a card. Okay. That was so disrupting. That was very impressive. How dare you. Uh, 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 uh. Untap. That was his Urbor card. Turn. Or his Phyrexian Arena card. Ouch. He paid so much for that. Draw for turn again. Tap this guy. I'm gonna tap these guys again. Y'all know what fucking time it is. Jungle Barons, baby. That's right. Another Woo! Jungle Barrier. Draw for huh. turn. Okay. Is your deck literally just a Feldegriff, a bunch of Jungle Barriers, and Weenies? <laughs> no! Is that seriously what you're <laughs> No, that's not, it. that's not it. That's not it. That's not right. No, that's not right. Do you not. have anything with, like, power greater than one that isn't a Feldegriff or a wall? My guess is he's digging for an Elvish champion. Oh, definitely. I'm gonna tap my elf to give green, and I'm gonna tap this guy to give blue, and then I'm gonna pay another green. Did you pay the 
So you have one blue and a green right now. I have a blue and a green. Yep. To summon a Gaia's Skyfolk. That one has flying. Yeah, yes, two, it two does. flyer. Look at that. Look at that shit. Nice. Nice. Uh, move to combat. I'm gonna pass. I'm okay with the okay. life. I'm okay with losing the life lead, potentially. I mean, you got a couple turns. Yeah, all on tap. I, think I got some time. Draw query and elves. There I'm gonna oh, the queer elf. choose black as the color. Black is the color of my true love's hair. Black is the color. It's you, Nick. You got black hair. I got brown hair. You're gonna discard a card. Okay, you do not have as black hair as I do. I don't believe that for a second. I said I have brown hair. Yeah. I will pass. I'm sorry, I meant you have brown hair. Or you have black hair. I don't believe that you have brown hair. I have brown hair. Okay. Whatever you say, boss. Draw for turn. Ouch! Draw for turn once again. Oh, that card advantage. I don't like it, man. I'm bringing in a forest, and I'm tapping it to play wild growth on it, because I definitely don't have enough mana as it is, right? Oh, Sam, your win condition is, uh, your win condition is yeah. deck out. Where's right Fireball? Now. Fireball! Where's the Fireball when you need it? Yeah, Move do you have combat. Fireball? Did you bring Fireball? Uh, no. Aww. I kind of didn't build this deck very well. Like I said, I did this for five minutes. Which okay. Is I mean, I think it's fine. It's, it's getting the job done. I think you're just uh, missing your uh, Elvis champion at the moment. Yeah. So I think if you had that, Sam would literally be dead on board. Yeah. Move to combat. I'm, I'm curious. He's got to have an Elvis sky champion. Man. It's got to be somewhere. Where's my sky, there's there's my sky man. Sweet. I'm swinging that, yeah. That's what you're swinging? Yeah, yes, I am. Okay. Tap for a black vendetta. I lose two, and it's dead. That wasn't very nice. Well, that wasn't very nice. Uh, before, eh, ah, no, fuck it. What you're gonna <laughs> counter my vendetta? Yeah, I will. I will. I will with the one card. Uh, we well, wait, the I counter must. I, I have to. Yeah, I will. Um, in response uh, to that, f sure. Well, you're gonna make me discard it anyways of disrupting scepter, right? Yeah, you're being so, a bit wishy buddy. In response, buddy. In response to that, buddy. I'm gonna consume strength and get rid of your Urborg Elf. <laughs> okay, so what are you targeting? I'm targeting the um, the Skyforge. It gets with... destroyed anyways. Yeah, but then I'm targeting your Urborg Elf with the minus two, minus two. So it's dead. Okay. Okay. I figured I would do it, because... I mean, it wasn't a bad play, because you were just going to make him Yeah, well, that's what I saw. I know. Like, <laughs> that's right, he has Disrupting Scepter. Yeah. See, I wouldn't have remembered that, like, um, before, but now I'm yeah. having more um, sense when it comes to magic. His brain is expanding <laughs> My brain is as we're playing. so fucking big, you have no idea. It's like he's having the brain blast mm -hmm. of Jimmy Neutron. Yeah. Brain blasted. Oh, oh finally! Oh, uh, what are we going to uh -huh. see? What are we going to see? This is it. Oh, that's a pretty good. Card. This is what the deck is built. He's around, gonna, buddy. he's gonna, turn, he's gonna turn it all around. Four. I'm gonna kick for blue, and I'm gonna kick for black for an Anavolver. It is gonna enter with three plus one plus one counters. It only comes with two plus one plus one. Uh, read the second paragraph. Oh, you're right. Okay. And it is ha it has flying, and it has pay three life to regenerate it. That doesn't look very good. Spicy. For me. And I'll swing the penumbra worm in. 6-6 six, six, Trampler. I'll block with my Worm. jungle. Okay, you lose your jungle wall. Goodbye. And pass. I am now on a very strict timer. <laughs> yes, you are. And Phyrexia yes. Marina, don't forget about it. Destroy the second pacifism, you're fine. Yeah, that's, that's what yeah. I'm hoping for here. <laughs> I think someone's forgetting about the Phyrexia Marina. Ouch! Yeah. Drop for turn once again. Okay, <laughs> What is my luck here? That's fine. <laughs> Wait, did you flood or did you draw what you need? You know. You know how it goes. Yeah. Well, it's Tom, so he drew poorly. We've all been there. I'm gonna play a swamp, and then I'm gonna tap forest to play wild growth. <laughs> oh right. boy! This is looking good for you. <laughs> I'm just saying, Sam, it would yeah. be funnier if you made him lose by deck out or Phyrexian Arena. Yeah. Damage. Move to combat. That would be funny. Um, swinging with fall six of these boys. Swinging all. Okay. So I am going to choose to block the Urberg. Okay. Oh my god. And then I take one, two. Three, four, five. Down yes, to five. Do. Okay. Neat. You got it right. All right. And I pass. <laughs> My turn. On tap. Draw. You have no cards in hand. You could still make him discard a card to be funny. Yeah, I could. Then I would like to you know, enter overflow or whatever. He's doing math. He's doing math. I'll swing and. Yeah, I'll just swing Anavolver. 
Okay, I'll take the six. Okay. Pass. Ooh, this is what it comes down to. Top deck. Draw for turn. Take a damage. Oh my fucking god, you've gotta be kidding me. <laughs> Lucky you, I can only disrupt Acceptor my turn. Yeah, well, Unfortunate. I still lose. I concede. Well played. Good game. God damn it. Unfortunate. Where was your Elvis champion? I had two Let's of them in out. there. I had a Trevor the Renewer. I should have had more powerful creatures in my hand. Which I always find it weird that person who has the lead has the advantage of seeing the decks beforehand. But I guess there's no sideboard, so... Start winning. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, I rolled a 10. Got a word for it. Sam, are you ready to hear yeah, the okay. uh, amazing... Oh, I get to go first. You're taking the play? Um, yes. Um, but are you ready to hear the amazing gift I have for you, Sam? Is it Rhystic Study? I'm not... Pl well, first off, that's banned. Oh, we banned... But second off... We banned Rhystic Study? I'm not playing blue this week. Oh my what? goodness. No! A period Wait. of calm, a period of peace. Who the oh, fuck that's much. Rhystic yeah, that's much nicer. Yeah, yeah, that, that's, really, that's a really fun hand. <laughs> so are you keeping... Ooh, that's risky. <laughs> you may as well risky for the bisky. Yeah, I'll risky for the bisky. Okay. Yeah. We'll start with Daragaz is Caldera on uh, pass. Battlefield, sacrifice it unless you return a non Oh, wait, hang on. Plan. I lied. We're playing an Urberk Volcano. <laughs> so smart. Passing. Okay. I'll draw for two. Ignore everything I said. I'll play a swamp into a chromatic sphere and go. Untap. Draw for turn. Spicy. Play a forest and do this thing they call a uh, passe. Untap. Draw, play a forest, and tap two into an Urberg Elf. Nice. And go. On your end step, I'm going to shock your Urberg Elf. Okay. All right, untap. Draw for turn. Spicy. All right, I'm going to play my Caldera tapped, and I'll put my forest back in my hand. Okay. Go ahead. Untap, draw, put in a salt marsh tapped. Hmm. And then I am going to fertile ground my forest. Salty marsh. And then pass. All right, untap, draw for turn. Neat. All right, we're going to play a forest, and we'll tap three for a Phyrexian Rager. I'll lose a life and draw a card. Nice. That's a good trick. Go ahead. Untap, draw. What will you do against my 2-2? Two -two? Tap for two green. Uh, doesn't matter, I'm just using this for the draw. That, to put in Ana Sanctuary Ooh. into play. What was that? At the beginning of my upkeep, if I control a blue or black permanent, target creature gets plus one, plus one until end of turn. If I control oh. a blue and black permanent, creature gets plus five, plus five. Of which you control none right now. Uh, yeah, and also it's not my upkeep. <laughs> nice. And then we'll pass. Untap, draw for turn. Neat. I'll play a mountain, and then we will do... Another Phyrexian Rager. Nice. And we'll swing you for two. I take two. If only I had that uh, Anna Sanctuary. I might. I should look into it. Is that uh, this set? Yep, this set. Wow, mm, these are these are certainly some fucking draws. <sighs> these are the draws. Rolls. These are certainly the draws of all time. You know what? This is just a bad position. So we're gonna... What's really funny is your Vindicates do nothing against me. <laughs> yeah, because there's no sideboard and I lost the one out of five. We'll consume strength, plus two in the tap one, minus two of the other. It, I know it doesn't matter, but I actually took out the tapped one. Oh. Congratulations. You did take out the tapped one. Or I took one. out the untapped, the untapped one. one. Yeah. And then pass. All right. Untap. Draw for turn. Oh, spicy. Um, all right. So we are going to pay four. I'll play a Phyrexian Scuda. I'll pay the kicker cost of three life. You get two plus one plus one counters. All right. Cool. Uh, move to combat. Two. Okay. Yeah, big damage. Let's go. Untap. Draw. Uh, damage. Shop. Oh, I control S instead of control D. Omelette du fromage. Omelette du damage. This and a blue for dream cash. What was that? Draw three, then put two on the top or bottom of my library. Nice hand filtering right there. These two to the bottom. And go. All right, untap. Draw for turn. Sick. I'm going to play a terminal moraine. So I, it's a colorless land, or I can pay two and tap it to search my library for any basic. Wow, nice. But what's more important is... Is... Um... Um... That I'm gonna go swing at you for seven. I'll take seven down to nine. Go ahead. Untap, draw, one, two, three, four, 
I'm not showing you what's in my hand because um, I really don't want to play it unless I have to because I don't want you banning it. Oh, I can see it, which means I can ban it. Tom's a creature beyond did I not, all. Did I not consume that? Is that consume this? strength plus two the Scuda minus two the Rager? Sure. What didn't you draw, Sam? Tom? Well, it's in your hand. I don't want to talk Pass. about it yet. Which one is it? Uh, the one on the far left? No. Uh, for you, yes, yes. Um, that was a rare. No, I got one. I don't know why I didn't play nice. it. Nice. Card art's different from mine. I don't know why you didn't. Uh, that's because this is an updated version of it. I legitimately was just like, I don't know why I didn't even bother looking at like the, the powerful creatures in the set. Like, Five? So dumb with me. <laughs> Go ahead. I'm a savage so gorilla. Strong. I'm such an idiot. <laughs> the monkey. I wanted the monkey deck, and this would have been the perfect opportunity. Erberg elf. Erberg. Oh my god. And pass. Uh, untap. Draw for turn. I'm gonna pay four for... No, we're gonna, I'm not gonna tap like an idiot. Hang on. Or a uh, worse Vindicate, but also better. And I can see Herber it. Growth. Yeah. Uh, sometimes GG's. you have good draws, and sometimes you have Tom draws. Oh, oh Samuel. Do you want to see what my hand he was? You didn't even whip out the sauce. I didn't yeah, even play the sauce. Three flame tongues, two horned kabus, and my spirit monger. You gotta place a fine boom after you say each one of those things now. Yeah. Flame tongue kabu, boom. Yeah. Well, Horn kabu, boom. At least I've seen flame tongue kabu. Boom. Do like five on that one. Anyway, that was fun. Who wants to ban cards? Not me, that's for sure. Yeah. I don't know what to ban. Um, I'll that take out flame tongue kabu. You guys talk at the same time. What, who said what? I said flame tongue kabu. Damn, that sucks. You guys hate having fun. I do. I was thinking Horned Kabu. Why? I didn't even but do you didn't anything. Even think of it. I don't know, it's scary. <laughs> sure. Um, no, 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 I don't know yet. I'm deciding between that and the Phyrexine Scooter. No, well, I want to ban what Sam had. I should probably Why? ban the Spirit Monger because that thing is ridiculous. Because you beat him? But I kind of want to have a Spirit Monger. So, I don't know. <laughs> Yeah, why would you ban the good cards you have yeah. when you can ban the good cards that well, you don't Well, I only drew have? one of them, so fuck it, I'll ban it. Let's ban the Spearmonger. <laughs> well, that sucks. I didn't even get to play yeah, it. I know, but you're like, come on, look at that thing. Come on. <laughs> it's ridiculous. You literally have it, Tom. I know, you but like... put it in your deck. Yeah, yeah but I drew one of them. I drew two Elvis Champions in my hand. I didn't draw any. I didn't draw any. I'm saying I would put it in my hand and I wouldn't draw it. So so why even like tease All myself All I'm hearing is you guys hate fun. I'm coping, I'm seething, I'm molding. That's just how it's going to go. <laughs> and you didn't even get to play against No me. fun allowed. You know what? I'll take that as a All prince. right, that's fine. You guys just hate based decks, it's understandable. No.